Okay. So my honest review of FL Studio 20.1. This is the trial version. And yeah. So I used to use FL Studio. I still do to at least create my instruments or my sounds and whatever. Sorry for the camera quality, like my camera has some issue. But then I moved over to Studio One. The main reasons I moved over to Studio One was I could bounce in place. And when I open up a project file, um, Studio One saves everything into one folder. So if I bounce anything, uh, they all get saved into a separate folder. It creates a folder called Bounce Folder. If I send out, if I export stems, it creates a stems folder. Okay, so in this uh, 20.1, they've introduced um, this, what is it? Let me see, it's been a long time. This function of like dragging and dropping an instrument into the track. And then it creates this sort of pattern thing. It colors it here and then also in the, within the mixer itself, it also um, colors everything and renames everything. So wherever you change the name, be it in the mix or be it in the track or the what you call the sequence or whatever all the names change i was messing around uh, when you create automation it creates some um, automation group thing here which you can open and close which i love but now since i love to bounce my my what is it my midi especially to save cpu I bounced here, so I tried dragging and dropping it, hoping ho hoping that it would be it would do the same thing. Cause I don't wanna. It's just it, it's a lot of work. It's a hassle, so it slows down my workflow. I know it works for some of you guys, cause um, you're used to it. But in Studio One, um, everything goes straight to the mixer. I don't know. Um, so for now I'm only going to use FL Studio for um, creating all my my instruments and my parts and then exporting them out and then um, basically building them up in Studio One. Um, okay, I don't know. It's something they brought but um, maybe when the final thing comes out it's gonna be better but I do like that they brought back the step sequence of thingy loop loop thingy that they removed from what is it like I think FL11 was the last one with it I don't even know why they removed it seriously no one was complaining they just wanna do funny things um, and um, something I really want them to do is introduce like proper thumbnails like in studio one so the vsts um just so the thumbnails show properly within your search browser so they're easy to find because i have a lot of vsts and a lot of effects so it's a bit of a hassle like looking for the names well when you can just see the picture it's more visual and you can just select it and drag it in so i am digging this new drag feature for instruments you can even um right click simply on the track and then go to performance you know, go to track mode and then go to instrument and then i can say like the boo bass and then uh yeah so it creates a pattern here i think if you want like a variation of the pattern you have to probably clone the one that it's already created and then you can do whatever you want in there and then paste it but yeah my main complaint i just want at least when you drag this it does the same thing it creates a mixer a mixer track automatically wherever i change the color everything is changed the same thing here if i change the if i want to automate anything here it should also just like create the same subgroup thing here for automation and whatnot that would be dope and then also one thing that makes me i'm a person who makes a lot i mix a lot with uh uh db uh db meters so okay fine we have this main one here but it would be also cool if you could see the at least like the numbers like zero going down to negative what um 
on each individual track and so it just helps you eyeball everything instead of now when you want to actually see what it's hitting you have to manually click 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 uh, those are just the small annoying things about fl studio and then also um i know one other issue like in studio one and i think other does if you have like a mixing chain you have all your effects and other vsts whatever on your mixing chain you can simply just click somewhere and save the mixing chain while in fl studio you can also do that um i think you click here and then you'd go to where is it i think your yeah, file and then save mixer check state as and then it would save it somewhere and then but the problem is whenever you drag it or like probably let's say i have two heads right and they're both named different and now i'm gonna bring that mixing chain in it's once i bring it in it's gonna name this whole track to whatever i saved it as so even if I do it on the second one, then they're both going to be named the same and I don't want that. So it's better I bring it in and it doesn't rename anything, it doesn't change the color of anything. Yeah, um, but I do miss using FL Studio, um, but I'm forced to use uh, Studio One right now because of... Okay, more more because it's more organized, especially with my project files. Um, and also um C, uh, cpu so i know you can also bounce checks here and whatever but the flexibility is working with audio here it's just it's i think um they need to still make it on point but once i get a, a good computer which can handle like all the cp cpu loadage or yeah loadage from having multiple vsts and stuff then definitely i'll be using um, fl studio